Welcome to my vegan kitchen. I am so excited today. Guess what we're making? Philly cheese steaks. Vegan, of course. Come with me. I'm going to do it now. Let's start with what we're going to be using for the beef. Because obviously, um, Philly cheese steak is using steak, right? So what we're going to use for the steak is portobello mushrooms. We're going to use these nice big portobello mushrooms. You're familiar with them. What's nice is that they're inexpensive, right? First, we're going to do is slice these nice and thin. So let's pop out the center stem. Got my knife right here, and we're just going to slice these stella, these stella, these portobello mushrooms straight across. So. Let me finish up with number four. I use four porto portobello mushrooms. Now that we have these all sliced up, you have this many mushrooms. And it cooks down, so don't worry that you have too many because it's gonna really cook down at least half the size of what this looks like. All right, so guys, so once we have the mushrooms on the side, get yourself a nice big bowl because we're gonna put the marinade in this bowl. And once marinade is in here, we're gonna have to put the mushrooms back in here. So. Let's get the marinade together. We're gonna to start with a couple of cloves of garlic. And all I did was just dice them, you know, medium to small. Add in here some liquid aminos. This is your salt, guys. And don't worry, I'm gonna have all the measurements down below and all of the ingredients down below. So just follow with me so you get an idea of what you need to do. Olive oil, I'm gonna add some balsamic vinegar. I'm adding some pepper. We did add um, the liquid aminos. We're still gonna add a little bit of salt. That's just gonna balance the salt flavor. The liquid amino has flavor, but we just wanna balance the salt flavor just a little. I'm gonna whisk everything together. So you, you wanna get all the salt, the garlic, the oil. You wanna get it all blended together. So I am using a whisk because a whisk tends to blend way better than a spoon. It's gonna really kind of break everything down. So now that we have this all mixed together, we're gonna to add back in the mushroom. And we're gonna get them well coated. So, you know, go ahead, add your mushrooms. You might have to get your hands a little dirty on this because you wanna make sure you get the seasoning on all of these mushrooms. And you know how mushrooms are, they absorb tremendously. So, you know, kind of move them around quickly so that everything gets equally absorbed. Now that you've had that, you've had some fun marinating your mushrooms, they're all covered. They're all covered with the marinade now. We're just gonna set that aside on the side for about 15 minutes. Just make sure the mushrooms really get the marinade deep inside. While that is sitting for the 15 minutes, or at least 15 minutes, we're gonna cut up the peppers and onions. So let me wash my hands. So while that's marinated, I'm gonna cut up one whole onion and somewhat of a pepper. I'm not gonna do a whole pepper. I'm probably gonna do like maybe a half a pepper. But guys, this recipe, so easy. You know, I really try to bring you guys really easy recipes. You know, stuff that you could do like when you come home from work or just you don't have to really think about it. But this recipe is super easy, it's so tasty. And I just love that us as plant-based vegans, we are able to come up with the most delicious recipes that taste like what we remember, right? Because I'm gonna tell you, this really, really tastes like Philly cheese steak. I mean, portobello mushroom is such a good substitute for beef because it's thick, it's meaty. You know, when you cook it, it becomes that brown color. So it looks, tastes, it, it feels like you're eating meat. And for a lot of us who choose to go plant-based, it's not necessarily for us, you know, even though the animals are important, for us it's about our health. And we really want that food to taste good. You know, if you're gonna eat healthy, Part of it should be that your food tastes really, really good. So I really try, guys. I strive to find recipes that just taste really good. I know for me personally, my food has to look pretty and taste really good for me to eat it. So I try to bring that to you guys. So I hope you're enjoying my recipes that you know I put out there. I know I enjoy them. And I almost had a recipe block this week because I just couldn't think of what I wanted to share with you guys, but you know, 
I slept on it and I came up with this recipe. I was like, what am I doing? You know, this is really good. I should share this with you guys. So here it is, it's gonna be good. We got that situated, let's head over here. I'm gonna use my, my wok. I am, I'm in love with this wok because it's just so big and it holds everything. So let's get that pan on medium heat. No need to put any oil in our wok because we have oil already. Remember, we used the olive oil with our mushrooms, so we don't need to put any oil in this pot. Let's get it hot though. Let's get it nice and hot, and then we're gonna put all the vegetables. Got my vegetables, I got my, um, my onions and peppers that's cut up, and let me grab the marinated mushrooms. All right, so we got everything right here. Let's toss our Mushrooms. <laughs> I might be getting what I'm saying. Let's toss the mushrooms in. Let's add all of our vegetables. Nice and easy, right, guys? Let's just get all the vegetables right in our pot. I'm going to turn this up back to high. Going to grab a spoon here and kind of toss everything around. And then we're going to just leave our vegetables and let them cook. Let's give them at least five to seven minutes. Turn the um, flame up, like um, a high medium, like a medium high, and let's get this cooked. All right, guys, we have a little adjustment here. So you know how much I said I love my wok? I forgot that because of the base of the wok, it's gonna pull a lot of that liquid from the portobello mushrooms, the onions, and the peppers. So we're just gonna do a little switcheroo. I'm gonna place my this big flat skillet, because keep in mind, if the water is on the bottom or the moisture is on the bottom, when it heats up, it'll be easier for the water to evaporate, right? I'm just gonna dump everything in there. Dump it all in there. So I hope that made a little bit of sense to you guys, right? It, it, when, it needs a flat skillet in order to, see now the, the um, moisture, the water in here, is starting to bubble really easily. I have it on a nice high flame. So the water will evaporate faster giving you a nicer, meatier type of um, mushroom and not a soggy mushroom, if that makes sense, all right? Sometimes you gotta change it up, guys. So I mean, we're filming, this is live. This is live um, cooking here. So, you know, I just wanted to be honest with you guys and this is how I changed right, it. So while the onions and the mushrooms cook, we're going to get the bread ready that we're gonna place the mushrooms on, right? So I went to Whole Foods and they didn't have hoagie rolls. So I had to buy sabata. I bought sabata bread, that was the closest thing they had. I probably should have bought four, but if I buy four, I'm gonna eat four. But the recipe calls for four, so it will serve four guys. But I bought three, because I tell you, I took it out, I put it back and I looked at it and I was like, I don't need that much bread because I know how good this is and I know I'll eat them all. So let's get our buns ready. We're gonna pop these in the oven. So I'm gonna slit them and not all the way because I kind of want to get the mushrooms right in there like that. So I'm gonna slit them like that. And I'm gonna slit these like that because I don't want to cut them all the way but I'm gonna open them all the way if that makes any sense. But I'm gonna show you guys in a moment what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna open them without separating them, if that makes sense, just like that, okay? So be gentle, I'm opening them without breaking them apart. I still want them to be, okay, there we go. Stay open, stay open. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. And then I'm gonna pop them in the oven and get them nice and toasted. Stay open. All right, I'm gonna pop these in the oven. This one's opening back. Let me get it good. Let me get it good, guys. All right. It'll stay now. All right, so let me get these in the oven and get them toasted up. All right, guys, come in. The mushrooms are done. See, all the water has been absorbed. That's what it should look like. So you got peppers. You got your mushrooms. I'm just kind of turning them over. I'm gonna turn this off because this is done. This is what it should look like. That's your pieces of pepper steak. There's your peppers, your steak, and your onions. All right, guys. So we got our buns a little toasty. Let's close this up. All right, 
Let's feel it. All right, so they're nice and toasty. Ooh, <laughs> let me use my gloves to move this around. All right, so now that's nice and toasty. We're gonna place some vegan mayonnaise on our buns. That's gonna give them some flavor. So we're gonna mayonnaise both sides, okay? Ooh, I can smell those peppers. It smells so good. All right, so we got mayonnaise on both sides of our bread. Let's cover that up. And let me grab, let's move these things out of the way so I wanna make room because I want you guys to see what I'm doing. And let me grab my peppers and mushrooms. All right. Let's grab some tongs. We're gonna place, I almost pinched myself, right on our, our bread, our mushroom mixture, our mushroom pepper mixture. Look at that, look how good that looks. I wanna make sure when I close that up, there is enough beefy goodness for everybody. Now remember I said this serves a four, so you notice I still have some in my pan. I'm just gonna save that, you know, put it on some rice or something for another day, because I tell you, I, I can't eat too many of these, because, I mean, they're delicious, but, you know, girl, it's summertime. I gotta watch my waistline. All right, so for the next step, we're gonna add some cheese. Now, you could do your favorite cheese. You could do mozzarella if you want. You could do cheddar. I'm gonna do provolone, and as you can see, I took a bite already of the cheese, because I can't help it. Vegan cheese have come a long way, guys. Back in the days, they were nasty. They didn't melt. They just, you couldn't even eat them like this. They were so nasty, but this is really good. All right, let me put this cheese on the side. So I'm gonna put my cheese right on top. I'm cheating, because I already tasted it. Um, Let's do two, let's do one and a half pieces of cheese, just to make it really cheesy. Let's do it like that. We could do it however we want to do You know what? Let's put this one on here. <laughs> Don't tell nobody what I just did, but we're just going to put that on there, okay? All right. All right. So let's head back to the oven. We're going to put this. It's cooled down. We're going to put this back in the oven for a couple of minutes to allow the cheese to melt. Guys, look like the oven is ready. Let me turn off that oven light. Okay. Yes, it is ready. Look at that, the cheese is all melted. It is ready, guys. All right, I have this one over here that I have already prepared. Let's put these on the side. Let me get this one over here. All right, so I think, like I said, it has cooled down. Now, coming close so you can see, the cheese has melted. I don't like a lot of cheese. So I, like you saw, I only put like one and a half slices in there, but you could put as much cheese as you like. Let's taste it, because I know that's what you guys are waiting for. It gets messy, so let me try to get everything in there. All right, let's bite into this. Oh, there's a whole lot of food. <laughs> All right, I got myself a tissue. That thing is so damn good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> I'm take this piece of pepper because it's just been looking at me. It's like, Michelle, eat me, eat me. <laughs> no, I'm an eater. When I tell you this recipe, I've been picking at it through the whole thing. I know you guys can't see, so by the time I finish this sandwich, I already probably have eaten half of the sandwich already. It's so good. Just, just think in your head, just peppers, onions, the mushrooms, the flavors. You know it's good. And then put it with some cheese and some bread. Absolutely delicious. Another recipe, guys, for you guys to try. This is so easy. This is, this is beyond easy. And the, the ingredients are inexpensive, so it's not gonna be a very expensive sandwich for you guys to make for joining me in my vegan kitchen don't forget to subscribe guys just go ahead and click the the uh, bell also so you will get the notifications for what I'm forgetting this food and flavor is all in my head all right let's start that again <laughs> thank you guys for joining me in my vegan kitchen don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so you get the reminders whenever I drop a new video or if I post Full of gratitude for you guys. Go ahead and enjoy this recipe. It's really delicious and super easy. Um, yeah. Bye, guys.